Okay, so as you can see, we've already mounted the fixture, and um, we've basically set the controls here for test mode, and uh, in this particular circumstance, we've set it for 20 feet. Um, we've restored power to the electrical box, so it's powered on, and what we're going to do in the next step is basically go out on the driveway and walk across the PIR's path. Uh, so that we can basically test to make sure it's working at the distance we've set okay, it for. Okay, so I'm standing out in my driveway right now, and what we're going to do in this video is demo how you set up your PIR and how you go about testing it. Um, as you can see in the short clip that we've mounted this thing, it happens to be an EVE mount on this house, and we've set the controls in test mode, and we've set it for 20 feet. I'm probably out about 20 feet in the middle of my driveway. I'm not looking for it to go any further than this necessarily. Um, I want it to catch me as my cars come up the driveway. So what I would typically do is walk across the field of view of the PIR like so. Right? And as you can see when I've done that, it basically goes off, which means it's catching me at the distance that I've preset it for. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. So the next step would be, once, you're, once you've set it and you know it's working at the distance you set it for, we have to go back up and take the controls out of test mode and set it for the time we want it to come on, the duration, if you will, um, so that essentially what it'll do when it sees motion or thermal image, if you will, uh, it basically will come on. It'll come on for a minute or five minutes or whatever you set it for. But we know that it's working at this distance.